Uh oh, looks like I'm gonna have to open up a a letter on heart initi initi intuitive heart healer. Yeah, that's her name or whatever. Like I, but I like to call it idiopathic heart killer. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a play on words. Um, I did a video about this uh, crazy chick. You know what I did? All I did was like take some shit she was saying from like uh, a, ver a, a variety of her videos and um, well actually her videos don't have much variety all she does is talk about racing <laughs> but just put, put them all together put splice the shit together to kind of like expose the, uh, her racial rhetoric or whatever and then she hit me with a copyright infringement you know what I'm saying went, went ahead and went to uh, call YouTube on me you know what I'm saying um, but okay, I ain't gonna cry about it. She got me with copyright infringement. You know what I'm saying? I took the video down. You know, um, I ain't gonna uh, react like um, when when Ty777 hit Tommy Sotomayor with a uh, copyright infringement. So remember that? You remember he went off and then talked about how he uh, hates dark skinned women, and dark skinned black women. You know, I'm not gonna go off talk on a on a rant against white women, but. This female, this intuitive heart healer, I guess she's supposed to be some kind of love guru or whatever. Now, that's her angle. That's her niche. But, you know, all majority of her videos are all about the Trayvon Martin case. You know, she does a whole lot of race baiting and shit. Like, like as if one commenter on her page said, she uses all this heart healing mumbo jumbo to cloak her racism. Because she's a hardcore racist. She claims not to be. She claims black people are the racist. And she has to, you know, say things to protect her white people. Because she also, she constantly talks about her white people. As if they need protection against, oh yeah, the big black boogeyman. You know, like black people have all this power and we're threatening white people. And white people are so scared. And white people are silenced. White people are so oppressed or whatever. I'm like, she is just... She's just kind of like a bipolar, schizophrenic. <laughs> I, I, I can't, you know, go to her page and check it out. You know, I'm like, she got videos uh, talking about a race war. The race war has already begun. Um, she says that black people are making threats against white people. She's trying to ignite some kind of uh, racial fury. She even has one video talking about uh, uh Entertainers that hate whites. She's claiming that you know all these black entertainers hate whites, and she grew up on rap music, and then she recently was awoken that you know what I'm saying she start realize what black people really feel about them. I'm like this <laughs> ignoramus. I'm like she. I guess she don't realize all the black entertainers, both male and female, who are married to white people and who uh, date white people. You know. I guess when she came into the YouTube game, nobody nobody was listening to her. You know, Trayvon Martin case broke out, and you know she just started making all her videos is about Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman. You know, go go check her channel out. I'm like YouTube should make a limit on how many videos you make about Trayvon Martin and shit. Um, I'm like her and Painless need to hook up because between her and Painless, they probably got a whole about a thousand videos dedicated to this case. You know. Also, she has a video saying that Trayvon Martin's parents should give George Zimmer and his family an apology. I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, uh, Trayvon Martin's parents lost a child. You know what I'm saying? This female is completely inconsiderate. I'm like, she's selfish. And she talks about how she doesn't let emotions rule over logic. But she's emotional as hell. She got one video where she just goes off on black people. She goes completely ham. She says like nigger 35 times. She talks about there should be no double standard. Like black people get to get away with all this shit. And white people uh, uh, <laughs> are feet are held to the fire when they do some certain thing. I'm like, come on. This female doesn't recognize racial profiling don't recognize stop and frisk and then she admit she admitted that that um since black people threaten white people and threaten that they're gonna riot or whatever after the verdict you know that white people should racial profile them because they're <laughs> I don't know she doesn't recognize black people's humanity 
I don't even know why she's still on YouTube. Why she hasn't get slapped with re uh, hate speech. Because that's what she's doing. You know. Um, you know what I'm saying. She's just filled with a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. She starts off her visitor videos trying to be positive or whatever. Talking about. Hi. It's the love guru. Claire. Whatever the fuck her name is. Um, she'll talk about her damn dog or some shit like this. And then she'll just start going in on black people on race. And. How she got to protect white people from the vicious black people. And, you know, she's calling out to all her white people to unite and shit like that. I'm like, hey. And then in her comment sections of her videos, you know, the white people is just a stopping ground for racist. racism. I'm like, she's inducing racism. I'm like, man, she is just really bad. She, she's just really nutty, you know. And uh, she should have been exposed. She should be exposed. You know, that, that's, go out to her page, go check her out. You know, that's all I got to say about it. Thanks for watching.